Shoes, balls, bags, drivers, hats, and golf touring stars have endorsement deals with all of these categories. Using stars as walking billboards for product is nothing new. In the past few decades, the sporting world has been flooded with endorsement deals. One could argue it all started with Michael Jordan and his Nike deal that helped the Portland-based manufacturer become a worldwide phenomenon, as everybody wanted to be like Mike. It's gotta be the shoes! 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 shoes. You sure it's not the shoes? I'm sure, Mark. Since then, we've seen the likes of LeBron James, Lionel Messi, and Tiger Woods sign massive contracts with manufacturers to wear and use their gear on the playing fields. There is no question that having star power as the face of a brand is a powerful marketing tool for all manufacturers. Choosing the kind of player that you want to be associated with is easy. Um, we obviously look to the, you know, on the on the top of the official world golf rankings uh, because those players are typically more impactful. But even you know, amongst the top 20 players, there's there's dynamic players that find a way through their personality to relate to consumers and, and have consumers relate to them. And there's golfers that you know uh, that don't really re resonate so much. For golfers, it's a hefty payday, albeit a rare one, to sign a head-to-toe deal with one manufacturer. And the most notable deal of that kind is Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy's Nike deal, which cost them reportedly anywhere from 30 to 40 million dollars a year combined. Phil Mickelson's deal with Callaway is rumored to be around four million dollars a year. Those three players likely make up for the richest sponsorship deals on tour. And manufacturers definitely understand the power that top talent has on consumer purchase decisions. As we think about our Nike athletes, uh, there, there's a profile we look for. Number one, we look for somebody who wants to win, who can win, who wants to you know, be a dominant player out there. Then we look for brand fit. And, um, and people that we found, a lot of people we've signed have been passionate about the brand because they've seen it in other sports or they've been introduced to us as they've gotten into golf. Um, so there's certainly a Nike fit that makes sense and, and we're very selective in how we team and look for athletes to join our stable. Every brand seems to have their stars aligned to promote their product. TaylorMade's lineup of popular personalities includes Dustin Johnson, Jason Day, Rance Snedeker, Justin Rose, Sergio Garcia and others. You know, a player like Sergio Garcia has never won a major championship, uh, and some people are frustrated by Sergio's, you know, sometimes he says the wrong thing, some, but, but I think people love Sergio because, uh, because he loves the game, and he has a, a boyish enthusiasm about his game and about the game of golf. Dustin Johnson. Uh, a bit of an enigma, uh, you know, crazy, crazy, physically talented. Um, and, and people are kind of watching that and, and, and seeing the incredible physical talent he has and, and are, are wondering when he's going to, you know, have that mental resolve to break through in major championships. So we like to surround ourselves with people that, that, um, that really connect and really resonate with golf consumers and, and that can inspire golf consumers. Meanwhile, Adams Golf, now owned by TaylorMade Adidas, picked up Ernie Els after his contract with Callaway wasn't renewed, and the Big Easy seemed ecstatic about returning to the manufacturer whose clubs he played to win the 1997 U.S. Open and the 2002 Open Championship. These guys are so excited to, to have new product um, and pushing hard with, uh, with their irons, playing the XDD irons and uh, I've got the Yes Butter and playing the TaylorMade ball, so it's a whole new a uh, ball game for me, but I'm, I'm really enjoying that and, and looking forward to the future. While every brand hopes to pin the sale of their gear on the success of their touring staff, Cobra has a different angle. The popularity of its brand can be pinned on one of the tour's youngest stars, a guy that has made sporting bright orange on the course a cool look for youngsters, Ricky Fowler. What he has is what we're looking for in all of our tour ambassadors, is that world-class performance fused with a style and attitude and a swagger, really, that uh, sets them apart from the pack. So we don't have the most players on tour. The ones that we do have, we engage with uh, pretty regularly. It's amazing what one player can do to lift the value of a brand in the eyes of the consumer. Echo Shoes was essentially a non-factor in the golf world even just a few years ago. But one afternoon of Freddie Couples wearing the street shoes at the Masters changed all that. Now the likes of Ernie Els and Graham McDowell have exclusive shoe deals with the Danish manufacturer. I can wear them right out of the box, and they do a nice job. I mean, all the way through to the to the um, to the street shoe, which which Echo really um, put a put on the sort of a, put on the map, really, if you like. Uh, you know, a lot of companies have followed suit, but um, you know, Echo were certainly groundbreaking from the point of view of their street shoe, and the technology uh, continues to get better and better. You know, the uh, the Biome Hybrid. 
uh, that we're wearing today. Um, you know, obviously with a with a slightly more stable sole, um, they've really uh, improved the shank through the middle of the of the sole to really help the player be more stable through impact. And you know, they're the cutting edge of uh, offshoe technology in the world these days. The reality of it all is that to play great golf, you need great gear. PGA Tour stars aren't signing million dollar manufacturing deals just for the money. They're picking the best gear for their game that's going to help them win as many starts as possible. With so many options out there for your weekend warriors to choose from, it's hard to figure out which is best for you. You could choose which feels best in your hands, or you can pick gear that might just help you be like Mike, or in the case of golf, like Tiger or Rory or Lefty. The choice is yours.